We're about to go live. So here we are guys. Part 3 KPP Steve Artworks book. We're just gonna check the content. So we're going through the Pika Pika Fantagene era. Uh, go ahead and hit the pause button and read this. I'll give you guys a chance. Assuming that you guys have read that. Let's keep the show rolling here. We're going through, uh, well, in my personal opinion, this this particular era was not my favorite. Um, maybe I was watching a little too much sports at the time, but I was I was a little lost in this era. So I don't think it was very much to do with uh, the music. Well, maybe it was part partially the music. I was just doing other things. I was watching a lot of hockey, and I kind of. I wasn't following as much as I should have been, so this era to me is is not very memorable for the most part. I mean, slow mo was awesome. The A side for that was awesome. You may know was awesome. Kita Kita Kayla was was pretty good, you know. But for the most part, like this particular era and album just wasn't for me, you know. I felt that. She had a real nice buzz going. If anything, what they should have done, in my personal opinion, is they should have marketed her. Like I said, she had a good buzz. So they should have marketed her in this era just to be a little more... I don't want to say this without offending anyone, but a little less carry. They should have turned her into something more, how you say, universally recognizable we'll put it that way they should have had her doing adidas commercials or advertising in magazines for stussy or thrasher magazine you know they should have done more of that kind of stuff during this era they really could have in my honest opinion i think they really could have rocketed her out of the the locks of just mainstream japan you know I think uh, hit the pause button, read that. Uh, but yeah, just just moving forward, the album was was okay. Uh, I can't say for sure that if there was a tour, like a like a worldwide tour for this album, I can't guarantee that I would have went, just because it's not my favorite album. It's it's just very it it just wasn't for me. It was for a certain group of. Uh, fans and you guys know who you are you got an awesome album if you love it that's cool but for me personally it's, it just wasn't very memorable but uh again back to the book it's printed on high quality paper i apologize for the week long break um i had a lot of things i actually went for a small trip to uh, the city i got out of this island that i'm at so I got to take in some city and just that new release is coming up for Carrie like shortly. Like we're like three weeks away from that new single. I haven't heard it yet. I'm hoping uh, obviously anything Carrie releases is good, right? So cannot wait to hear it. It's going to be an awesome drop. Along with that comes the Blu-ray and DVD. I'll be ordering those, unboxing those. Stick around for those. I'll get those uploaded as soon as possible. Uh, I won't be in the city, so they'll be shipping to the island and I'll be just just getting on the wagon from there just just getting those out to the channel so pictures being taken on my HTC one M9 model 20 megapixel crazy just ultra HD 4k video but of course you know we're not we're not gonna look at this book like through video I, I just I can't do that to me that's unacceptable it's got to be through HD photos it just does the booklet justice. Family party, family party, family party. What, what can I say? Uh, probably not my favorite, far from. Uh, but, you know, the singles are singles. And uh, you guys want to give this, uh, hit the pause button, give that a read. Give you guys a chance to do that now. Moving forward, Key to Get a Killer. This one had to grow on me as well. Uh, it's it's pretty good once it kind of grows on you and it actually it doesn't take long to grow on you at first I was like well you know it's it's okay it's an alright track but 
he started listening to it a little more. He started listening to it a little more and more and more. And eventually, he was like, Dude, this is my track right here. Like, this is my song. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened with that. With me, anyway, it, it really, it kind of had to grow on me. And uh, it, it just, it, it became a really, really good song. The hairstyle for the Pika Pika Fantasy, I think the uh, the art as like the art angle of it is a little for me it's odd. I think they should have branded her a little differently. I think she could have been cool carry fifty percent through the way. Which they moderately did. They moderately did that, but I think it just could have been a lot better. They they could have had other pictures of her just out and about shopping you know what I mean? Just just being a tourist, even like that would have been awesome. Like she'd have the, the Adidas hanging out there, and you know what I mean? She she'd have the fresh the kicks. You know what I mean? Like they should have had done a little more of that. I think personally, that's my view of things. But you know, hit the pause button, give that a read. And uh, there's these stickers that were included with the album. Uh, looking back. Uh, I was looking at it today, and uh, I have to say, most of the content in this book, uh, I'm not going to retract anything about getting it, I'm just going to say, most of the stuff was already released uh, via her limited editions, so it's, so, like, some of the stuff isn't in there, like, you get some pictures with, with the... With the little text like, oh, this was an alternate text. We didn't want to use it. Da, da, da. You get all that. But for the most part, the content was pretty much released. Um, you're getting the hand-picked chosen content with the limited editions already that are pretty much featured a lot in this book. And then you get some of the background pictures that are not featured in limited editions. So you're missing just, like, the content's there. Like, it's been released. Like this, this image right here was like I actually got a plastic folder with my album when I ordered the limited edition. I had to order from Amazon, I think it was, or eBay, one of those. And uh, yeah, a lot of the content was already uh, released prior to this book. But you're getting little, again, you're getting little pieces here and there, um, kind of like the backstage sort of deal. Those are awesome photos for the. The album. I think those were like the covers, the front and the back. I think that was the Type A cover, and, uh, and those photos were awesome for sure. So again, they they did some of that cool carry. I think they could have done a little bit more. Personally, that's just my opinion of it. And uh, here's some of the other pieces that you're not seeing in the limited edition. Of course, presented in this book. If you want my honest opinion, is the book worth getting? Um, it, it depends on the individual. It's like, well, if you're if you're into books, then you want the book. If you're more into the album and CDs, I suggest tracking down the limited edition album and CDs. Like, just because the content is already there, right? Like, it's it's been prior to release, so. It's really on the individual, but if you're an all-around collector and you're going the extra mile to get all the KPP while you can, you know what I mean? Like, like, then I suggest, you know, yeah, grab both. I mean, you know, it's like, why not? And we're nearing the end. I actually got interrupted. I don't think you guys noticed that. I'll edit that out, but I got interrupted and we're near the end here. So, uh, part four, coming up uh, tomorrow. I ran out of daylight. I only use real-time light, like the actual light from my window. I don't use any other background light for this. So, uh, yeah, uh, stick around. I'll get that uploaded by the end of the week, guys. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Stick around for part four, the last and final part to this series. I'll see you on the next upload. Later.